हेलो एंड वेलकम टू न्यूज अफेयर्स एज द इंटरनेशनल आर्म्स रेस कंटिन्यूज टू फोकस ऑन हाइपरसोनिक एंड बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल टेक्नोलॉजीज द एस फाइव हंड्रेड इमर्जेस एज अ फॉर्मिडेबल डिफेंस अगेंस्ट दीज थ्रेट्स विद द एबिलिटी टू ट्रैक एंड इंटरसेप्ट हाइपरसोनिक लाइट व्हीकल्स एंड बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल्स एट वेरियस स्टेजेस ऑफ देयर ट्रेजेक्ट्री द एस फाइव हंड्रेड इंट्रोड्यूसेस a multi layered defense strategy that significantly enhances the country's ability to counter modern and future missile threats before we proceed we request you to like share and subscribe this channel for more such updates as bharat deploys various regiments of s400 air defense system russia has already indicated that the newer version S-500 Prometi anti-aircraft missile system is ready to be offered to it. The S-500 missile system is a new surface-to-air missile system which has gone into production stage in 2021. It succeeds the S-400 missile system which were inducted by Russian armed forces first in 2007. The S-500 Prometi anti-aircraft missile system is the most advanced russian mobile surface to air system and was put into service earlier this year the s400 set a high standard with its operational range of up to 400 kilometers and ability to engage targets at altitudes of up to 30 kilometers the s500 however takes a leap forward by extending its operational range to approximately 600 kilometers and reaching altitudes of around 40 kilometers reports state that the s500 has the capability of targeting hypersonic missiles thus giving it an edge over s400 the s500 also has the capability to target american fighters including b2 f35 stealth aircraft and f22 Bharat has already received the S-400 Triumph from Russia for the Indian Air Force. A team of Russian specialists was in Bharat for transferring the equipment to the sites and helping the Indian team who have been trained in Moscow to start the operation process. The S-500 intercepts threats at greater distance and higher altitudes, offering decision makers more time and flexibility. to respond to potential attacks the most significant advancement in target engagement is the s500's increased capacity to simultaneously engage multiple targets while the s400 can handle around 36 targets the s500 can reportedly engage up to 80 to 100 targets at the same time making it more effective against saturation attacks The system that Bharat is in the process of receiving has the capability of targeting fighter jets, drone attacks, rockets, and missiles. The first regiment of S-400 has been deployed in the northern part of the country because from this location, any kind of air attack from either Pakistan or China can be prevented. The second regiment of the S-400 is likely to be deployed in the region. to protect arunachal pradesh and the dag and also along the mumbai baroda industrial corridor inclusion the deployment of these systems has geopolitical implications as they can influence regional balances of power and affect military strategies the presence of advanced missile defense systems could also impact arms races and deterrence dynamics our take is that s500 and s400 systems can be interlinked and can work in tandem but it is impossible to only procure a new s500 interceptor missile and make it work with the s400 system hence bharat needs to procure s500 as a whole system if it desires we hope that you have liked this video do share your views on this video in the comment section and subscribe